Man, I love being black. Do you? They say our people perish for lack of knowledge. Well, let me drop some knowledge and I pray it won't perish. They brought us to this land and robbed us of our identity. They taught us a new language, a whole new God, and wouldn't allow us to discern, but have the nerve to call us unlearned. We were a great nation who knew our God, a nation of kings and queens. The earth was created for us, but they rewrote our history and made us reverence a woman because she wouldn't stand up on a bus. Now I mean no disrespect, but that's nowhere where our history begins. I don't mean to brag, but King David, Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jesus Christ is all my king. They think less of us because we're locked in the pen. But Deuteronomy 2841 prophesied this because our sins. The whole chapter described the situation we're in. But that was for disobeying the Most High God, and the time of our punishment is coming to an end. Now we still have some things to clean up as a nation. But if we do, we'll be served in the kingdom like some pancakes and turkey bacon. Because now nah, we don't deal with the swine. They used us for our gifts and robbed our culture blind. They wish they could destroy us from the face of the earth. We're losing this game now, but don't forget the last shall be first. We still need to live righteously and Exodus 20 will give you some clues. It gets tough because Beelzebub gives us the blues instead of using them milly vanilla fake Jews. But God knows our works, tribulation and poverty, but we are rich, a true sensation. And he knows the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews, but are the synagogue of Satan. We're the apple of God's eye. So be perfect and don't forget the price that Christ paid for his church. Love your brothers and sisters through all the pain and hurt. If these words didn't bring you a burst of joy, maybe it's because you don't love the truth. But all I know is, I love being black. Do you?